spend a lifetime working with something without actually uh, knowing what makes it the way it is. We, what we spend our time learning is just how to do it the way it was done most successfully. And uh, I just find it uh, existentially an unsatisfying uh, position. You want to really understand the, 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 the thing that you spend your life trying to do. So uh, this is just an attempt to understand what do the different parts of the violin do. And it, um, it's, this is what I would call the, the invisible violin. Dr. George Bissinger has one of the world's finest uh, acoustic research labs with an anechoic chamber and a vibration scanning laser, an array of microphones for testing the, the sound radiation of a violin. Dr. Bissinger had used a single scanning laser for quite some time and had already produced really remarkable images of the violin in motion. Polytech, which is the leading maker of scanning vibration lasers, offered Dr. Bissinger its top-of-the-line 3D scanning laser for a brief use. This was the first time that three-dimensional scanning lasers had been used on violins. We felt that for this, for this one-time opportunity, we should find the very best fiddles we could, something really stellar. And uh, we were really fortunate to be able to obtain the Titian Stradivari from 1715, and also the Plowden Guarneri del Gesù, 1735, and the Wilmot Stradivari, a late Strad. We had three days to do everything we could do in that time. The instruments were carefully suspended on, a, on an apparatus with a mechanized arm that gently tapped the bridge. The, the array of three lasers were arranged to very carefully scan at 600 points on the surface of the instrument. Um, and each of the three lasers in turn would move to each of the points to take a reading of the beam of light, the motion going away and towards the scanner, back and forth, and up and down, which can then create a true three-dimensional image of the instrument, a virtual violin which then the software can animate frequency by frequency. These 3D laser animations were so striking and the quality of the instrument so high that we really thought that you know, we should combine as many ways of looking at the instrument to create really an unprecedented look at the violin from as many disciplines as possible. And you know, included in that would be images that really had never been seen before. Um, but also combining familiar ways of looking at the violin with these very new ways, I think, would give, uh, would give uh, cross-references that would let us see things in an entirely new way.